Hey guys, it's from One Up Reviews and today we've got a sneaker review and an unboxing of the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott Fragment Design. Before we get into this review guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, we want to see those likes, it helps us with the algorithms. Show some love in the comment section below, we try our best to reply to every single comment thrown our way. And I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank our subscribers, new and old. Without you guys, we aren't able to do this, so thank you. Let's get into it. So today we have a look at the most hyped sneaker of the year and we got a look at the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott Fragment Design or its real name is Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in cell black military blue and we got this in the US 8.5, it's a European 42 and it's a UK 7.5. Now unfortunately these aren't mine. I have a loving brother who lets us review his sneakers when he's able to get them and he was lucky enough to get these so thank you Dom if you're watching this we love you and uh, let's get unboxing so it comes with this plastic sleeve really nice design you got the Air Jordan logo the Nike Air fragment design logo and the Catch Jack logo it's a nice touch uh, different kind of Air Jordan 1 box so where it's all Black and red, this is a blue and white to represent the colorway. And let's get opening. We go with a pink wrapping paper. And there we go. Look at that in all its glory. So we have one out of Just pop this down. Here it is, all of its color, as I mentioned. So let's start with the outsole. So this outsole is an all rubber outsole. You've got an Air Jordan 1 traction patterning, probably the best traction on a basketball shoe, even though it was made in the 80s. So given the technology back then, and it holds up till now, amazing. Looking at the midsole unit, it's rubber and incorporated in the midsole unit is an air unit. So there's an air bubble inside. And I just want to point out on the medial side, like a lot of fragment design collaboration sneakers with Nike, you've got the SKU numbers and like the tooling codes and the season. It's all there on the medial side. Now we're moving on along to the upper and that's where we have the fragment design touch. So these sneakers are an obvious, they took inspiration from the fragment design Air Jordan 1 collaboration. It was royal blue and it had a black toe. Those are one of my favorite sneakers of all time. And it's essentially an Air Jordan 1 color blocking with a black toe, but instead of the red, it is blue. And it has the fragment imprint on the heel and you can see the color blocking is more or less the same. However, as I mentioned about the black toe, if you look here at the mudguard area, just around the toe box, it's not black toe, it is nice and white. And the toe box here is colored in blue. You can see all the perforations as well. We look into the lateral side of the sneaker. So you've got the iconic reverse swoosh that Travis Scott has made his own. So you can see it on his Air Jordan 1, the original ones. Obviously it's a blend of the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 and the Fragment Air Jordan 1. This is the amalgamation of the two sneakers. You got a choice of lacing. So it comes with black laces here. What I hate about Air Jordan 1s is that you have to lace them yourselves, but you've got the nylon, sponge and foam tongue that's what it's made out of the Nike Nike Air here logo stitched on and you got fragment design on the left side and on the right you've got the Cactus Jack which is similar as the to the Cactus Jack Air Jordan 1 mocha colorway comes in three different laces so you got pink white blue and obviously black as I mentioned before and you look at the ankle support so it's nicely padded got the Wings logo and what Travis Scott incorporated in his Air Jordan 1 is the little pockets things to put in so you can unbuckle that. 
my light with pocket there. You can put whatever you want. We know where you're putting it in there though. Now we look at the heel. So that heel is where you can find that fragment logo. And it's on the right side. And on the left, you've got the Caddis Jack logo. It's a shame though, that I think they could have put the fragment logo at the heel just to make it like the fragment edge or the one. But alas, here we are. And to be fair, I'm not mad at this. Personally, I'd rather have the Air Jordan Travis Scott Fragment Design Low. That's a mouthful. I think that's a much better colorway instead of the reverse black swoosh, it's a reverse cream, so it matches the midsole unit. But yeah, honestly, I do prefer these than the original Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott. However, I do prefer the Fragment Air Jordan 1. That's just me though. Obviously, you can throw some of your opinions down in the comment section below for you guys. Are these the sneaker of the year for you? Firstly, not for me, but I can understand why people will put this at the top of their lists. But yeah, let's roll it out and sh show some footage of me wearing these sneakers before my brother. When it comes to the fit guys, I recommend that you get your true to size Nike fit. I am a UK size 7.5, this helps, and it's a good thing that my brother is as well. So we have the same size feet. Um, my toes are where they need to be. And yeah, I mean, these sneakers look really cool on. Again, as I've mentioned before in the video, I prefer the lows. So fingers crossed I get the lows and we can do a review for you if we're able to get our hands on them but yeah um do you guys think that these are the sneaker of the year of 2021 show it in the comment section below Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us at One Up Reviews with a Z at the end. That's on Instagram. Until next time, peace.